I guess we just naturally lost his trail then. Yeah. Well, I reckon we'd better go back. Give us a swig of that canteen. Plum empty. I guess we can fill it up again at that cabin back there. All right. Hi, partner. Did you give us a canteen of water? Sure. Come on in. Help yourself. There. Hey, you didn't happen to see a fella riding by here on a Palomino horse, did you? No. Can't say as I did. Oh. Looking for some particular hombre? I'll say we are. What'd he do? Stuck up me and Tom here after we won his horse in a poker game. Claimed the game wasn't on the level. Of course, it was on the level. You're tootin' it was. Me and Tom has the reputation of being the only honest gamblers in Angel's camp. And nobody ain't ever proved the contrary. And nobody ain't a-going to. Just as sure as, uh, well, as sure as them's appetizing, smelling beans you got there. Would you like to sample them? I'll say we would. Well, now, of course, if you insist. All right. Grab some dishes out of the cupboard over there, and we'll put on the nose bag. Fine. Oh. Looks like the cow's gone dry. I like mine black in it. I never did like them sharp knives. Try the floor. Oh, them women's tools. stranger. Come on in. Thanks. My name's Mort. You can call me Ken. Friends of mine from Angel's Camp. Are. Right. Howdy, boys. Say, haven't I seen you before? No. I don't think so. Would you like to sit down and wrestle with a few beans? I don't mind if I do. All right. Wash up. I'll get your plate. Thanks. Hey, partner, where's your towel? Just a minute. I'll get you one.
I see you found one. Uh huh. Well, uh, if you've finished, you better sit down. I'm afraid your beans will get cold. Oh, yeah, the beans. Yeah. Take my place. I'm not very hungry. All right. I'll get you a clean plate. Thanks. Haven't seen anybody riding a Palomino horse around here, have you, Ken? My friends here claim he's a horse thief. Nope, I haven't. I reckon I haven't noticed anybody rigged out like that. Palominas are pretty scarce around here. Uh, just our luck. Never mind. We'll find them. Let's be drifting. <laughs> well, thanks for the feed, stranger. Glad to see you. Nice looking suit you have on there, ain't it? I'm glad you like it. Well, I liked it well enough to pay sixty dollars for it. But then I, I guess I better give it back to you. I don't want it back. You're gonna pay for it. But I, I haven't any money. I lost it all in a poker game. That's all right. You can work it out. Me? Work? <laughs> oh, no. You got another guest coming, partner. I said you was going to work. I never did a day's work in my life. And I don't intend to start now. Wait a minute. I don't suppose you ever had a good licking before either. But you're going to get one now if you don't listen to reason. Here. Now what about it? I guess a little work won't hurt me. You're right. It'll make a man of you. I can't understand why you're doing this. Come on, let's go over and sit down. I'll tell you all about it. Come on. Pull up the chair. About a year ago, before I got this mining fever, I took a shipment of cows to Kansas City. You ever been there? Yes, but not recent. Well, anyhow, a girl, mighty nice girl, too, heard we was in town. she come down to pay us a visit. Brought along a photograph. Said it was her brother. I got it over there in the trunk now. Seemed as though he was a reckless kind of a kid. He'd wandered farther on west. She'd kind of lost track of him. Thought maybe some of us might run across him. Well, did you? Yes. And I'm writing her and telling her that he's working out of mine with me. And doing mighty fine. You 
usual record. I know, Mort. But each day we go a little farther with it. Anyhow, I guess as long as it's down in that hole, it's as good as in the bank, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's that wild horse again. Gee, isn't he a beauty? You bet he is. Come on, I'll give you a closer look at him. I'll show you something. Come here. Come on. What's the matter? Are you afraid? Come on. I thought you were going to get your hands on him. Say, Ken, why don't you catch him and break him the ride? Oh, I don't know. Kind of felt like I'd be doing him a dirty trick. He enjoys his freedom too much. You know, he looks a good deal like my horse. A whole lot prettier. Yeah. Guess he's one of the few wild horses left in this section. Look at him go. Sure, but he'll be back tomorrow. He's getting gentler every day. We got a pretty good shipment here, Mort. I think we ought to knock off and take it in town in the morning. Well, if you think so. But I wasn't figuring there was any particular hurry. Well, you know, my uh, career in the cattle business ended with a draw. About all I got out of it was a lot of bad debts. I figured on taking care of them inside of a year. Mort, my half of this ought to just about make me square. What do you mean, your half? Well, we're partners, ain't we? Yes, according to you, but... Well, it was you found that pay dirt, wasn't it? Right when I was ready to break the shaft in the other direction? What of it? Anyway, I don't need the money. Oh, yes, you do. That girl I was telling you about in Kansas City is headed this way. My sister? Yes. She's getting in tomorrow. That's one of the reasons for going to town. We've got to get a lot of knickknacks to doll this place up. Ken must have struck it pretty rich. Is this all out of one claim? Every ounce of it. Hey, Fred, give him a drink out of my private stock. Uh, no, thanks. Oh, go ahead. I just want to see whether you're a judge of good whiskey or not. Well, just one, then. Pretty smooth, eh? Yeah, slides right down. Have another one. I always found out that the first one gets along better if it has a little company. Put the other deck in. The lamb's almost ready, boys. Well, what are you, Jim? Well, now, let's see. Say, uh, you ain't forgetting anything, are you? No, I don't think so. You sure? 
No, I got everything. I picked out everything I can think of. Well, how about that stuff you ordered out of the catalog about a month ago? Hey, Jim, gee, I forgot all about that. That talking machine, huh? Did it get here? Yeah, been uh, here. Where is it? It's been here a week now. Here she is. Well, let's take a look at it. Here you are. Oh, right boy, ain't she a beaut. <laughs> oh, boy. But here's another piece that goes with it. Sure, that's what makes it talk. There you are. Want to have another little drink before you go? Oh, no, thanks. I've had almost too much already. I hate to break up your game, gentlemen, but I have some business to attend to. Ken? That's right. Thank you. Don't leave now, Duke. You got fun of my dough. <laughs> Stranger, have my chair? Come on, sit in. We don't want to play three-handed. Well, I'll play for a little while. I should charge you rent for that seat. I beat the game all day. Come into my office. Hello, Duke. Sir. I want to talk to you. What is this? Start a draw. Well, we've been playing stuck. Well, that suits me. See, you know, Ken, I think that I ought to get me one of them contraptions. What for, Jim? Well, I might put it right here in the store. I might draw in some trade. You know, business ain't been any too good around here lately. <laughs> Maybe it would be a good idea. I'll tilt that a little. Well, I'll call that and sweeten it a little bit. <laughs> I'll pack mine with the works. Well, that sends me to the deck. Well, that forces me to call you. What do you got? Ace is up. You had me scared for a minute. Three little deuces. I guess that lets me out. That's tough, right? Yeah. Better luck next time, kid. Come into my office. I'd like to talk to you. No, I don't think I want to. Oh, come on. All right. Sit down, kid. Well, Max, you're pretty clever with those. There's only one thing I never see you do that's full of straight flesh out of the air. Straight flesh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, Listen, Ace. <laughs> okay. King. All right, boy. Get on. Look out. Queen. <laughs> Jack. This is and a uh, chain. <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever. Well, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it's not my own money I'm worrying about. But I lost Ken's, too. Gonna face him. I know how you can get it back if you got the nerve. I'm shipping that gold by Fargo Express. And I can insure it for 50,000 as easy as I can for 10. How's that gonna help me? It won't. Unless it happens to get lost and the insurance company has to kick in. Oh, Jen, please, just one more. Okay, can't do it. I've got to be getting back to mine. Oh, well, thank hey, you. Hey, hey, that was well hey, done. Hey, hey, hey. I'll, I'll wrap that up for you. Now, you do just as I tell you, and when you get this stuff planted, come in and let me know. So long, Mort. Here's your horse, kid. And the best of luck to you. Don't worry about me. Well, you get ready. Don't have what do you want? Hey, I've been drawing myself, Bill. I'm broke, and I think I'm entitled to a right, chip. Right. Come on, sit down. Let's get a game. Don't bother me anymore. Hey, Bobby.
Hello, Ken. Howdy. Haven't seen anything of that partner of mine, have you? Well, yes, he just rode off on his horse. Say where he's going? Well, I think he's going back to the mine. Hmm. That's funny. Guess he just plumb got tired of waiting. See if you can pick up his trail. You're going with us, aren't you? No. I'm going out to Ken Dutton's mine. I have a hunch I can find out something. you way up here, Sheriff. Where's your partner? What do you want him for? Maybe nothing. And maybe stage robbery. Stage robbery? Yes. A lone bandit got the express box a while ago on Pine Ridge. Yeah? Well, what's Mort got to do with it? This bandit was riding a Palomino horse. And your partner owns the only one in this part of the country. But it couldn't have been Mort. He left here less than an hour ago. Is that so? Where to? Why, well, up the ridge here someplace. He, he thought he might get a deer. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Better get on the job. Looks like we got that band that chopped on Pine Ridge. OK. Careful, kid.
What made you do it, Mort? Come on, you got to tell me. Well, you see, while you were over at the store, I got into a little game. He wants to give us a slip back in that ravine, boys. Let's trip. And, and I was afraid to tell you about losing your half. Don't you know this has made me feel a whole lot worse than losing the money? But that debt you were going to pay. Well, that debt could have waited. Gee, Mort. Right when I was sure you was going straight to you. Oh, I've been in enough trouble for you, Ken. I guess the best thing I can do is give myself up. Oh, you can't do that. We've got to find some way to get you out of this. No, I've been enough bother to you already. Think of your sister, Mort. We can't let her know about it. What are we going to do with this box? We've got to leave it here. We can find some way to give it back to the express company. Better get going down the canyon, kid. I'll see if I can head them off. Hurry up. Coming right into our hands, boys. Let's get out of sight, quick. You say you got a good look at him, Ken? Just got a glimpse of that Palomino as he went up the canyon there. He must have doubled back on us, boys. Let's look into this, boys. Well, the sheriff's got him, boys. Slim, get the horses ready. Hi, miss. Are you looking for somebody? Yes, sir, my brother. I thought he was going to be here to meet me, but perhaps you know him, Morton Clark. Certainly. He's a fine young fellow. Well, have you seen him? Seems to me that I did. Just before the report of the stage robbery. I think he went out with the posse. A stage robbery? I wish you wouldn't carry on like that. Oh, but these handguns! They only think I robbed the stage. But they haven't proved anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, sis. Terribly sorry to have to meet you like this. Helen. I guess Ken will have to take my place with you for a spell. We've got a spare room out at the cabin, and I'd feel a whole lot better if I knew you were with Ken. All right, Mort.
Who is Palomino over in the stable? I'll need him for evidence. Come on. Out of the way, Ed. Come on. He's kept it up for two days now and refuses to tell anything. But when they haul him down to Angel's camp to trial, why... Uh... Do you think he's going to welch? Well, that's what I'm afraid of. When the evidence starts piling up against him, he's going to throw himself on the mercy of the court and tell everything. Well, supposing we blame it onto somebody else? I'm afraid we can't. That horse of his is the only Palomino in the country. Then we must never let him come to trial. Hello, Sheriff. How are you, Ken? Where's the little woman? She's in her room. Pretty well upset, you know. Well, that's to be expected. You want to see her? Yes, I'd like to. Miss Helen. Sheriff wants to see you. Something he wants to say to you. Yes, Sheriff. I thought perhaps you'd like to go down and see your brother before we took him down to the county seat for trial. Oh, you don't really think more did it, do you, Sheriff? Well, it really don't make much difference what I think, miss, but... Uh... But what? Well, that horse I took in custody with your brother is the only Palomino in this part of the country. I'll go get my coat. I won't be but a minute. Better get your hat, Ken, and come along. Plenty of room. I don't believe I will, Sheriff. I think they ought to be alone. I guess you're right. Ready? Yes, thank you. Goodbye, Ken. Goodbye, Helen. And don't you worry. I have an idea I can help Mort out. I can't help worrying him, sis. Don't worry about me, Mort, dear. Ken has been so wonderful. And when you get out of this, well, I'll just be the happiest girl in the whole world. I'm sorry, little lady. But we'll have to be leaving now. All right, Sheriff. Sure. Oh, 
Hello now, you guys. Huh? Why, what's the trouble, Hank? Eh? We're loading bunion on that stage, and I ain't taking any chances. Shutting the door after the horse is gone, aren't you, Hank? I don't get your drift. Ain't no use putting on guards after the bandit's been jugged. Well, the boss ain't taking chances anymore. I say he ain't. <laughs> well, bud, I guess we're going to be all right now. I reckon we are, Hank. stage a hold up. Just a make-believe hold up, you know. We gotta make them believe we mean it, though, just the same. You take it easy. Don't try any more funny tricks. All right, huh? Come Are you, Hank? Yes, I'm all ready. You know, bud, I'm just about the best rifle shot this company ever hired. Well, you'll need to be, Hank, if you ever meet up with that fella. Stop! Hold it right where you are. Well, I didn't miss that time. Too bad we haven't got some passengers in here so we can prove that shot. here so you can skip the country. How are you going to do it? You leave that to us. Just let me know where you left that express box. Do you know where Diamond Head Rock is? Diamond Head Rock? Wait a minute. I'll draw your map.
Who is it? It's me, Kent. Sheriff. Can I see you for a minute? Sure. Come on in, Sheriff. That Telemedo bandit has just pulled another hold up. No. Sure thing. Thought you'd like to know. If we could capture him, it would clear the kid. Sure would. God, I'm thirsty. I'd like to help you catch that fellow, Sheriff. Let's go look for him. Helen. You won't have to look far for him, Sheriff. There he is. I saw him ride in on a Palomino horse, Sheriff. He left it behind the rocks. What have you got to say about this, Ken? Perhaps you'd better ask him to explain how he got that wound on his arm. somebody off right now and be done with it. We can't do that. The boss wants to make sure he's telling the truth about where he hit that clock. Oh, well. I'll keep an eye on him. We'll drift back to town and tell the chief everything's all right. Come on, Blake Jackson. All right.
Look what we found tacked on our door, Chief. You get that? Found it there when I came in. I tell you there's something behind all this. Let's clear out of here. Let's go after that express box today. All right, let's go have a little drink and talk it over. Let me out! Let me I got enough of that. Get away from that door or it'll be just too bad. Go ahead and shoot. See if I can. Oh! You've broken my arm! Yes, and I'll do worse than that. Something, Sheriff? No. I want you to us to look this canyon over. I'll see if he didn't backtrack on us. All right, boys, keep your eyes peeled. You gotta hit him there, Tim. I reckon you know what it is, Sheriff. I'm sorry to catch you red-handed, Tim. I was hoping you'd be able to clear yourself somehow. It's just what I'm aiming to do, if you'll give me half a chance. Ah, oh, talk sense. This is no time for stalling. That's not a stall, Sheriff. If you give me just five minutes, I'll show you who the real bandit is. They're liable to be here any minute. Let's just slip around behind the rock where we can watch for him. Come on. Well, I reckon that won't do any harm. Go ahead, but take it easy. Hey, look, Sheriff. What'd I tell you? This must be the place. Yeah, there's Diamond Head Rock. You stay here and keep out of sight with the horses, and I'll go down and see if this kid told us the truth. Come on, let's duck down out of sight, quick. You don't suppose he'd try to double cross us, do you? Not as long as we got his horse here. Hands up, Harvey! You're covered. Don't shoot, Sheriff! I'll surrender! Well, I almost got him. What do you say, Sheriff? Let's get going. Come on, step along. I'm going right along. I'm not causing any trouble. You took my gun away. Hands up! Drop them with a gun, Sheriff.
Well, Mort, it looks as if you've got here in the nick of time. I'm glad to be able to help you, Sheriff. Take charge of these prisoners in the money box. I'll be right back. All right. Get over there on that rock. Wait a minute, Helen. There's something I want to ask you. I, I was just thinking. Thinking what? Well, I was wondering if uh, maybe. You know, Ken. I was thinking that. Well, perhaps the answer is yes. <laughs> 